anything to do that. She just would walk into the mailbox getting her mail normally, how she always did. Right now at 5.30, a CBS4 News exclusive loved ones speak out after a great-grandmother is nearly killed in a drive-by shooting in Northwest Miami-Dade. And tonight, that woman is fighting for her life. A teenager was also wounded. CBS4's Peter Dent spoke with her daughter and son-in-law and joins us live from the scene. Peter, what are they saying? Well, Rick, they're trying to figure out how this happened. They say that Louise Lester had just gotten mail at this mailbox here behind me just before 5 on Friday afternoon and was walking back to her apartment when suddenly shots rang out from a passing vehicle. An 18-year-old youngster was wounded. She was shot in the chest. Right here, they go to the mailbox that she went to. Joe Johnson says his 67-year-old mother-in-law, Louise Lester, was nearly killed after getting her mail. Got her home. mail and it was headed back home. Mm -hmm. And bam, right here is where it happened. Lester, seen here in an older photo, was a longtime public school's cafeteria worker and was most recently at North Miami Senior High School. Says her family, she had a daily routine. Her normal activity, she get up, she cook, clean, take care of great grandkids and go to the mailbox to see what she got in the mail and bam, she don't got shot. 18-year-old Malik Wilson was shot in the leg. Lester was shot in the chest. An older lady, 67 years old, going to get her mail out the mailbox. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, she got grandkids. Thank God the grandkids went with her. Well, I feel they need to get the person because she has nothing to do with it. Miami-Dade police say it happened just before 5 Friday afternoon at Northwest 25th Avenue and 65th Street. The shooter fled in a white, older model Toyota Camry like this one. Well, whoever did it, you need to come forward and have respect for yourself because my mom didn't have anything to do that. She just would walk into the mailbox getting her mail normally, how she always did. Police are trying to figure out what prompted this drive-by. Well, I feel terrible about it because there's so much chaos going on for no reason at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, young kids out here killing for no reason at all. It ain't about nothing at all. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just because you have beef with somebody, you don't go around shooting anything. People. Lester is in the intensive care unit at the Ryder Trauma Center. This month is her month to be 68 years old, and now she's laying up in the hospital recovering for something that she didn't have nothing to do with, they know nothing about. Relatives tell us there are complicating factors for Louise Lester. The bullet that struck her chest also caused liver damage. Police so far have not released a description of the shooter and the getaway driver. They say they fled southbound on Northwest 27th Avenue around 5 Friday night. If you can help police, call Miami Dade Crime Stoppers at 305 471 TIPS. We're live in Northwest Miami Dade, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News. Thank you, Peter.